Hey guys, how you doing? And this is how to play times like these by the Foo Fighters. Of course, this is Foo Fighters Friday, as a lot of Fridays are on this channel. I try and give you a new Foo Fighters one um, as often as I can. And uh, this is a great lead guitar part, so we're going to be focusing mainly on that intro line and the weird kind of chord that we've got at the start there. A little bit on the strumming, but the main bulk of the song is all taught in this other lesson here, which was uploaded last Friday, and uh, that's how to play the chords part, all the verses and the chorus section, and all the different um, structures to the song, the whole song structure. This is really picking apart the intro so you can nail the lead parts, and uh, I do have another lead guitar channel, um, which I'll put the link to here and in the description, which has loads of these fairly, you know, improver level solos, um, but straightforward for people to progress onto from this Andy Crowley or Andy Guitar channel. And I'll be teaching those lessons along with my buddy Tom. I haven't done too many uploads at the moment, but I'm going to be uploading them all the time. So do check out that channel if this is something you're into. And let's get you in for a close up right now for this Foo Fighters song. Times like these, the rock version. So to start this song, we have this chord here, where we have your first finger, everything's at fifth fret, first finger string five, middle finger string three, and third finger string one. So one, two, three, there's a gap, or there's a string in the gap between each one of your fingers is the idea, and you're starting from string five, kinda looks like that. And then we strum all of those from string five. Ah, it kind of sounds like the record, don't it? And um, we need to do the same strumming pattern as we were doing for the acoustic version. And essentially, it's the same strumming pattern and your first finger even comes off at the same time because they're, they're variations of the same riff. The first finger comes off at the same time. Off, off, down, down, off, down, off, down, down, off, down, off, down, down, off, down, down, off, down, off, down, down, off, down, off, down, down. So it's, oh, uh, this finger is off like that twice. One, two, three, four, five. Same again. One, two, three, four, five. And then just one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. And we want to try and do that with downs and ups so you can do it. Down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. Depending on whether it's the radio edit or the proper version, the album version, that could be two or four times you go through that. But let's just do it twice together if we can. In two, three, four. Again. And there you can hear we have this good mute, this silence. Putting our hand down over all our strings, just in between each time. As always, the tab is down in the link in the description below. You may have been able to follow that, but you'll probably want to check out the tab for this next part, which is the uh, picking section, the lead guitar section. So we start mainly on the, uh, well, we start on the open D string, and then we got another two notes which are 12th fret and 10th fret. So we got open, 12, 10, and if you're, if you're new to any single note kind of lead guitar playing, because it's not what we've done a whole lot on my um, current channel, uh, we'll want to stick at just trying to repeat this over and over again. Open, 10, 
Uh, 12, 10, up and 12, 10. Start by doing it on down picks and keep that rhythm even. Dun, 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 dun. If you can, do it with down and up picking, so alternate picking. Down, up, 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 with that right hand. And then we alternate 12, 10 with 12, 11 on the third string. So open 12, 10, all on the D. Open on the D, 12, 11 on the third string. And it's that string skip, that change of string with the right hand which makes this a little fiddly but what you want to get used to as I say is go for one then the other let's take the overdrive down a little bit so you can really hear what I'm doing and to play the full riff all we do is play that twice so one Two, and then we finish the bar with which is 12 and 10 on the A string in context which makes it um, a, a, you know, a shorter second bar, so we've got kind of seven beats on this. Um, so it is a funny one to get your head around with that second bar being a little bit shorter if you're counting four and four, or four then three, but just, just try and keep everything even. And that's all you need to think about with, with this one. Let's go through that nice and slow just one more time to make sure everyone's on board with this. I don't want anyone, you know, quitting this one because they think they're not good enough for anything. Just get it even. Learn the sequence of notes 100% correct. Make sure you've memorized the sequence. If you need to read it, let that help you, but try and get it memorized and try and get your fingers there and then just keep the rhythm even, even if it's like this. And then just keep cycling it. And if you've kind of got the sequence but you, you want the speed, keep it on one string. Until that speed is up to something like that. Use whichever finger, I alternate between middle and third all the time, just whichever feels comfortable. Use whichever finger feels comfortable for you, but make sure we're using that first one a lot. And one more time, just as a demo, and I'll talk you through it. Open, 12, 10, open all on the D string, and then we swap to the third string. 12, 11, that routine again, and then 12, 10, on the open A, on the A string. And as I say, if you want to really show off, but eventually make this a lot easier and more fluid to play. Down, up, down, up, down, up, small, alternate picking. My palm, my wrist is rested on the thickest string, on the thickest string for all of this really. And uh, my whole forearm is laying against the guitar. Which essentially means that my pick is always as close to those strings as possible. And that helps us be more accurate. 
And we do that until such a time when you go back to the riff, which I believe is two rounds of the chord sequence um, going underneath these chords, which would be a C, a D major, sorry. D, that's a B minor 7 chord technically, but just class it as a B minor chord. Like that first chord, but just slide it down to second fret. And that's the easiest way to play these chords. Long, twice through that chord sequence, then back to twice, and then you're into your verse exactly the same as what you were doing. The link to which will be in the description below this video. And every time in that acoustic version that you were going. You're swapping that out for this, which is, as I say, is very physically, kind of timing-wise, very, very similar. Just to finish up with, guys, one cool thing that the Foo Fighters do when they play this live is the breakdown section. Um, they keep this riff going, but they par mute it slightly. Which certainly with a little bit more overdrive than I've got now. This is me going through an ME70 with the preamp on the clean amp setting, everything up to midnight, and uh, that was just the boost on the drive there. Like we've uh, got an overdrive pedal before it. So I'm just palm muting the whole thing. We've got the outside of my palm on the bridge here. Listening out for that sweet spot. That's too much. That's good. That's not doing anything. And that can really help your technique to help keep this hand anchored. Keep it. Keep your pick close to the strings. And help you play this riff. So that's how to play Times Like These by the Foo Fighters. Remember, if you want the verses and the chord sections of the song, click here, and the link will be also in the description uh, to make sure that you follow that lesson. It's on acoustic guitar, but it's all the exact same chords and picking and everything like that. And do give this video a like if you dig it, and subscribe to the channel if you want more of these kind of uploads. And I'm sure I'll be seeing you again real soon in one of those videos. Take care of yourselves and bye for now.